2010 brought with it a long overdue breakthrough for Florida's LGBT community. That was the year the Sunshine State ruled that the ban on gay and lesbian adoption was unconstitutional, making it one of the last states in the union to do so. Then June 5, 2015 came and saw the governor sign the official repeal of the ban into law. So, after it was illegal for 33 years, LGBT individuals and couples have been able to adopt, raise, and legally protect their children, not to mention take their rightful place as equal families in the eyes of the law. But what should you know about LGBT adoption in Florida still very much in its infancy? Adoptions are done through the Florida Department of Children and Families, DCF for short, or through a private agency. Adopting through the DCF is generally less expensive, but a private agency will allow you to be more selective in who you will adopt. There are a few different types of adoptions. Joint adoption is when a married couple legally adopts a child, which did not exist for gay companionships until the recent legalization of same-sex marriage. Single adoption was also recently allowed. This is where a single, unmarried gay person adopts a child. But remember that the DCF will not favor single-parent adoption regardless of your sexual orientation. A third type is step-parent adoption. When a gay spouse already has a child of their own from before the marriage, the other spouse can get recognized as a parent through the adoption process. Step-parent adoption is ideal for gay male couples where one is the biological father through a surrogate birth. It is also a good choice when one partner has previously adopted a child on his or her own or has a biological child from a previous relationship, as long as the other biological parent gives up their parental rights. Another type is second parent adoption, which is a holdover from before same-sex marriage was legalized. Prior to that, it was the only way a gay couple could actually adopt a child. Second parent adoption gives an unmarried partner the ability to adopt their partner's child. This method, however, requires more than the similar step-parent adoption, the latter being a much more streamlined, efficient, and recommended process. Despite the increased options and advancements for the LGBT community, you can never be too thorough in getting legal recognition as a parent. In fact, Florida still doesn't allow a biological mother to put her wife's name on their child's birth certificate, essentially denying the wife's parental rights from birth. In opposite-sex marriages, however, the husband is presumed to be the father and immediately recognized as such. Following through with either a step-parent or second-parent adoption, if applicable, will ensure that. The adoption will have to be approved by a judge. Not all judges are the same, and some may have more progressive viewpoints than others, and may exercise their discretion differently in accordance with their viewpoint. It is a good idea to choose the county for the adoption where you have the best chance of getting a judge with a perspective more like your own. The LGBT story in this country is an ever-changing narrative. For any help in keeping up with LGBT law, turn to LegalU. LegalU. You can do this.